Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Chromebook tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Chromebook in developer mode. So there are many reasons to install developer mode, one being that maybe you want to install third-party applications or extensions that aren't available from just the standard Chrome OS, or different things like that. Now a couple things to note before we get started. Putting your Chromebook in dev mode will delete everything off the Chromebook. So you'll have to go through the setup process with your Google account, but it will also remove all the files you have stored on the device. So make sure you back those up before you do it. Next point I want to make, after you've put your Chromebook in developer mode, if you want to turn off developer mode and return it back to Chrome OS, check the description because I will be making a tutorial covering that subject and how to turn off developer mode on your Chromebook. While following the steps in this video to put your Chromebook in developer mode, I recommend having your Chromebook plugged in just so you don't lose power or anything like that during the tutorial. Now the steps in this video can be performed either while you're logged into your Chromebook or even from the login screen, so you don't have to be logged in to do this. The first thing we're going to do is press some button combinations right here on the keyboard, and those are going to be the escape key, the reload key, and then the power button. So we're going to press all three of those at the same time. The screen will go off, let go, and then it will turn back on in a second. So, all right, so it comes up right here with Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Don't worry about that, it's in a recovery mode. So what we need to do now on the keyboard is hold down another button combination and it's just going to be Control and then D. So hold those down at the same time. You'll see this message come up. And now all we wanna do is just hit the Enter button. And now we'll see the Chromebook saying OS verification is off. From here what we need to do is do Control D again. It'll turn the screen off again and reboot. And we'll see that it says your system is transitioning to developer mode. And it is counting down right here. All right, so when this screen comes up again after it's gone into developer mode, all we need to do is hit Control D one more time and now it will start loading Chrome OS in developer mode. Now the first steps will be to basically set up your Chromebook. You'll hit let's go, connect it to a Wi-Fi network, and then log into your Google account. Once you've logged into your Google account, your Chromebook will be in developer mode and you can start installing third-party APKs or modifying the settings. And then the last thing I wanna go over in this tutorial of how to enable or turn on developer mode on your Chromebook is just a step you'll have to go through every time you turn on your Chromebook. So when you turn it on, You'll see the OS verification is off screen again. All we need to do is just simply hit Control D and then that will boot up the Chromebook and we can log in just like we normally would with our Chromebook, except we'll be in developer mode. So that's how you quickly and easily put your Chromebook in developer mode. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Chromebook or Google tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.